welcome to Frico Plays Rome Total War 2 in God Mode with the Athens 2 edition. Episode 11, we're in the, 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 third <coughs> the third iteration of the Battle of Britain campaign. We are in the Battle of Isledon, where I take my Athenian empiring <coughs> to the next level. Well, the next Frico level, I should clarify. In this episode, Cremonides is joined once again by the Heavy Cav Army in an assault on Isledon. Meanwhile, just outside the city, <coughs> General Alexandros chomps at the bit, waiting for his turn to prove his worth. Will Cremonides hold the star, or will Isledon be his undoing? So you can see this is a pretty big sprawling town here that we're, we're dealing with and they have over what is it over 4,000 troops inside and we have about 2,500 so they outnumber us and they have the defensive positions but we are in God mode we are invincible so we have our heavy onagers up here and they're aimed at at doing the plowing, I'm assuming. So let's get, I tell you what, let's get, let's get nuzzled in and let's listen to, let's see how, how is Carmonides going to start his troopers off? Let's, let's find out how he starts his troopers off. And now we are ready to begin. Right now, behind those walls, fear is eating at our enemies. It is. You, you didn't even wait. He's doing his speech, and he's like, screw you, man. I don't even care. Oh, my gosh. I am loving Cremonides. And he's rushing right up to the walls, anticipating the collapse. And there it is, just like that. There's the breach. But what do we do? Well, we're going to go. And now that breach. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One of our guys fell off. Hey, get back up. Uh-oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's he's fine. He's fine. He's getting back up. He's getting back up. Get on up there, though. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't realize. Oh, my gosh. Get, get back on your horses, guys. What dingles? I'm very upset with this. I don't know if I like that. I'm not, I'm not happy that you got guys there that got off their horses and didn't get back on, commodities. So it looks like we got the artillery coming in. Let's see, where are, are do we have reserves coming in anywhere yet? Any reserves coming in? I don't see any reserves yet. All right. Our, how's our how, how's our heavy onagers? There we go. Just pepper in the countryside, and I see they've got troopers over here in defensive positions, basically. This is just about keeping everybody away from, from these big boys. And they even have guys, uh, you know, you don't have this guarded so well, so I'm a little bit... Do you have troopers in here that are not being used? I think you might. I think you might. I think you didn't bring your troopers up here. I'm a little disappointed in that. Oh, oh, what do I see here? Maybe this is why. It looks like we do have reserves coming in. Let's see. Who we got coming in? Where's the horses at? All right, horses, take us for a ride. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we went back to here, and that was good timing. So, Because we're coming to... We're like, you ain't getting this spot. You, you go ahead and try and come out and see. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Firing into the air. We're just, there they are, there they are. Let's see, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, we got our guys going up. Yeah, what are, uh, uh, I think uh, I think what he wants to do is he just wants to beat these guys back. He's not even looking to make the full, this isn't the full assault that he's looking to make here yet. All right, 
that that was good. Thank you for that. I don't know if I really like the way that thing just takes you way out of where you were. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Up in it. Let's get a bird's eye view of what's going on. Oh, 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 man. Man, those bombs, man, they hurt. But they don't hurt us because, you know, they're smart. They're look at look at that. Just getting pelted. Just getting rained on. You know, oh, man. They're here, here. You guys coming after us? Are you guys gonna come? Could you imagine being those guys back there right now? You want us to do what? Alright, we're charged. What the heck? We'll do it. We got nothing to lose but our lives. And we're losing those. We are definitely losing those. See that smart bombs like, hey, don't hurt that guy. That's our guy. Smart bombs like, nope, not gonna hurt him. Look at that. Look at that. Oh gosh. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, it's just, it's just a relentless barrage of death. Death. Fiery death. I definitely will suggest that the. The, the using the five heavy onagers instead of four it does make a difference I gotta say it's worth it just 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 making the gap bigger just so we don't have to worry about stuff just expanding the horizons up up oh gosh the terror the ah there enemy wall breached meanwhile these guys just imagine just where are we at here? You guys up here? Anybody up here? Hey, what? what's going on with you guys? Let's check you out. Here you are. You just... You're like, man, there ain't nobody out here. Should we stay here and keep guarding this? Dude, we gotta we gotta stey. Would you rather... Would you like to be up there? Oh, fuck no, dude. <laughs> Love this job. This is the job to have. This is what I want. This is my post. I'm, I think I want to be Helmet Man right there with the cloak. Helmet Man with the cloak? That's me. That'd be my job. Be like, yo, man, I'm just going to chill, chill. And then, you know, if stuff gets real, I'm just going to, I'm just going to head for the hills. Ain't, ain't even, ain't, ain't even a thing for me to head on out. I don't think there's anybody out here because that's what I'd be thinking. Because I don't know, man. I look up there. I mean, if I'm going to make a run up here, I got to defend this. All right. I don't even know if we'll get to that because it looks like. It looks to me like what Cremonides is doing is, is another attrition war as per his instruction. I've instructed him, this is what I want. I want this psychological warfare. I want, I want these factions to be terrorized at the very notion of having to fight us because they know when they fight us, they die. Like, we don't mess around. We're not taking strategic positions. We're, we're, we're just, well, we're taking strategic positions, but not... Not to take geographical hold so much as to just, as to just put ourselves in position to cast, force you to, to, to line yourselves up for the slaughter. And that's what we've done here. You have to come and challenge this hole. So you have to bring your troops to us and we're just going to rain pain upon you. Here that comes the masses. Look at all these masses of, of troopers just incredible amount of guys that they're throwing in at us and we can withstand them stress-free stress-free yeah we just start ba barraging right away one thing I have learned and I think Hermonides has learned is uh, it's best to, to get your troops up there in general as fast as possible to whatever positions of cruel drill you want to hold, and and then specifically for for commodities, positions of control designed to give our artillery the safe space it needs to punch you in the face over and over again, stress free, stress free war for us, nightmare f fuel for you. Yep, nightmare food really. You just wake up and you just think about the Fricosians and you're like. Yeah, they want this province, and like, can you blame them? I mean, you find an excuse to sell your people to say, let's just become them. 
that's the idea. And in the end, our bloodthirstiness in the beginning saves lives overall. It's for the good of the whole. We're we're compassionate killers. Look at that. Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, just yeah, definitely five heavy onagers is the way to go. Four is not really the difference between five and four. I gotta say is pretty significant. I mean, I am largely just using these guys to keep these guys from getting out. I'm not really fundamentally attacking them. I'm just keeping them in position to let the artillery, well, I'm not, Cremonides is, but, you know, he's me and we're one and the same, sort of. You know, me being the emperor, everyone is me, in a sense. Oh, oh, let's see what you guys are doing. All right, what are we doing? Who are we doing after? Oh, oh, okay. And now you're staying. All right. You're just sitting there. All right. Are we going to go? 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 Are we riding forward with them? Please, let's go. Let's go. Come on. All right. All right. Let's see what's going on with you guys. You guys are just chilling. I mean, this is an easy job. Look at these guys. They're like, yo, man, we're just, just just waiting. Just waiting. Oh, man, look at look at that. Look at that. I have to say, these German cavalry are definitely the bomb, and they changed my narrative. Like, if I was going to start with my Athens group again, I would not, I would not just want to get Pannonia right away. I'd make sure I'd want to get whatever German thing I got to get to get those horses, too. Because between these two horses, that's the way to go. That's the, that's fundamentally the way to go. But I still have a place for just the archers and not just horse archers. Because my archers are definitely, well, definitely better in terms of actual archery skills. And so I, all, I was trying to direct uh, people to attack. And I'm like, you can't do that. This is a replay. I am evaluating Cremonides' performance. Thanks to the power of modern technology... We can now analyze our ancient battles. Just sh shut up. Just, you love it. You love it. You love it. What are we doing? Oh, we're just kind of like taking a marker here. I mean, this is, I'm just going to say this battle is essentially over. They really should just surrender at this point because they know it's over. There's no way. I mean, there's another unit lost. Primarily through artillery artillery now if you wanted to you could be systematically using well actually i don't know what he's going to do i'd be firing up this area if i if i noticed it i might not maybe you don't notice every you're going to miss things in the battle you're just going to but i'd be i'd be hammering this area over here but but it is getting hammered by not just these guys here these guys are what are you guys doing? Oh, you're just skirmishers. You're not, you're not, okay, you're not. You're not missile guys. All right, let's see. You guys are just trying to get out. Let's see where these guys go. Let's, let's hitch a ride. Wait, no. Are you not going to let me go on these guys if, uh. All right. Come on. Oh, I see why. So I can't. Well, you suck. You really do suck. It won't let me click on these guys so that I can. Yeah. So these guys are going to get away, it looks like. So there's a, a number of people who just chose to, to head on out. And these guys, you're just sitting here. I, uh, I I think I, I, I would leave them here. I think that's a good move, commodities. These guys don't even just just in case anybody tries anything, you just uh you just you just parked out there just checking things out. These guys are gonna get away and that's okay. And that's okay. But hey, what do we got here? What's going on with you guys? Alright. Where are we going? Oh man. It's a little chaotic. Oh, we're going after these guys? Oh, yeah, we are going after these guys. Look at the wreckage. We are shelling this town. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, this is brutal. Brutal. 
Ah, uh, I think this is where we're making our final charge, so let's get on board. This should probably be... Where is... Are you about ready to make your final charge? Are you going to? All right. So who's on the move? I think you guys are the ones that are making the final charge, so... There we go. All right. All right, get going. Get going, gentlemen. All right. Don't stop on my account. Gosh. Oh, you're just... Where are you going? Uh-huh. All right. Here we go. We're going to take... I think this is about where the battle should probably be ending soon. I mean, this battle is over. Make no mistake about it. This battle is over. Where are we going? Let's get her going. We're following the horses up on up to here. I think this is probably the final. There we go. There we go. Well done, Cremona Days. I would say not perfect surgical precision. But you, the patient would definitely live and say the doctor did a good job. That was that was some some surgical work, not precision. But commodities, we're not necessarily going for precision as much because we are are seeking to do the psychological warfare. So it's not enough to win a battle. Even it's not even enough for us to win a battle in which we have. You know, even though we are immortals in the sense that the only way that we could be killed is in an auto set auto resolve we can only be killed in auto resolves folks okay no poisons can touch us no plagues can can fell us it'll say numbers lost but they're back immediately but we understand when when people die and come back that's kind of a horrible experience to go through so we try to have as little of our of our folks die as possible and on the other side, they don't come back when they die, and that's an advantage for us. But we do try to minimize that. But one thing that we don't try to do, we don't necessarily try. As a matter of fact, we don't at all. We don't try to. If we were going with surgical precision, we could go in there and probably win a battle pretty quickly. But the purpose here, folks, remember, we want people to be terrified of the very notion of going to war with the Fricosians because we will put you in a grinder patch and just churn you and churn you and churn you. And and we're developing many methods to to be able to do that. And and really, I got to tell you, Carmonides is really kind of somewhat led the way, although I got to say it was really Alexandros and I forget which siege it was, but it was a few sieges back where it was really Alexandros who really introduced the strategy right now that Carmonides has used the last two times. So this is why Alexandros is a rising star, because he was the innovator. But Carmonides, he's just such a solid, competent leader. So I think I am going to... I, I, I don't know. I may... I may... I may. I may have Alexandros lead the last battle. No, I can't do that. I can't. Cremonides has done well. I can't. Uh, there's. It's like taking your starting. Just because you got a hot quarterback behind your starting quarterback. If your starting quarterback is going well, I think that. Uh, I think you don't want to. Yeah, I, I, I think you just don't want to. Uh, why can't I get my. Did I not save post earlier? All right. All righty then. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Just. Ah, uh, all right. Well, 
I think I'm going to end this episode here. I got to try and figure something out because something isn't where it's supposed to be and I got to figure out why it's not. Let me see. Where's the last? Oh, gosh. Date. Date. Ah. Uh. All right. Well, I'll try to figure this out later. 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 This is the end of this episode. Join us for the next episode in which we will be, well, we'll be fighting the last war, the last battle in the Battle of Britain. That's right. This battle has battles. And the last battle is going to be for Iska, the Battle of Iska. Good night, everybody. <laughs>